so put up a fight number two get fit we see in here when the demon comes back to the house he finds it swept and put in order it's interesting that finding the house being clean a demon could not enter the house because it was clean watch this very carefully a demon could not enter the house because the house was swept and cleansed until that demon went and found seven other demons that were worse and wanted to attack that house something happens that repels demons from your life like nothing else it's when you clean up your life we call that discipline when Jesus talked about a sexual sin of lust and he said if a man looks at a woman with lust in his heart he says he has committed adultery and then Jesus gives the cure of how to deal with that, with that lust and it's interesting that Jesus knowing the spiritual world better than anyone else Jesus's cure for this particular sin and I believe few other sins as well Jesus's cure wasn't that if you struggle with this sin I want you to come to my disciples and they will cast the demon out of you Jesus told his disciples and the crowd he says if you have this sin he says I want you to apply death and he says I want you to it's better to go to heaven without an arm he says cut your arm off now we understand Jesus does not mean you physically cut your arm off the same way we understand when Jesus said when your right hand gives make sure your left hand doesn't know we know that left hand and right hand don't know anything and when you give with your right hand your wife knows your wife's left hand and your church treasures and the IRS knows so we know that there's no way for the left hand not to know what the right hand is doing but what Jesus is saying is that motives are important and in here he's not talking about hey if your hand causes you to sin if you smoking you know take a knife and just cut your lips off actually people have done that they have removed their private parts in effort to overcome sexual sin some people even in the history gushed out their eyes and they wrote this and they still struggled with lust because Jesus did not mean that what he meant is apply discipline equivalent to excruciating pain of removing your hand and most of us the only discipline we apply will be equivalent to a paper cut well it's going to be very hard to fight flesh the one that you're feeding every single day you're feeding your flesh during the moment of comfort it will come at you and attack you in the moment of temptation it's like the story of a family that went to the went to the uh, they went to the woods and they saw a lion a lion's den and they saw these lion cubs they brought the lion cub into their family and the lion cub you know was very small and the lion cub became a pet in the family they started to feed that lion cub the family got so used to it that the children played with it it became a toy it became a, a pet that everybody enjoyed and the man in the village the main chief he came to the family he says you guys you can't this is a vicious dangerous animal this is not a dog this is not a cat you're feeding it you're making it stronger one day it will snap and when it does all of the children that are playing with it it will attack the children and at one time the parents were in some kind of a festival and this cub already has grown to be a little bit bigger and out of nowhere family full of children this cub attacked every one of them and killed every one of them until that chief hearing the cries had to run to the house and shoot that cub if you feed the flesh during the days of your comfort don't be surprised it will never return the favor it will attack you during the day of your crisis starve your flesh not your body but those evil appetites wake up for morning for prayer take time to fast take time to give why because your flesh is not comfortable it's okay if your flesh is not comfortable because then in the moment of temptation your flesh is trained you tell your flesh no you're not gonna do that why because you trained it in the time of comfort but if your flesh gets spoon fed in a time of comfort well don't get surprised if it pulls this thing on you in a time of crisis and it attacks you and it destroys your life